Hey, Shalawan, I'm Akim. Uh, I'm coming again. I'm coming. I'm coming back again to prophesy the downfall of America. Uh, to let the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians know that we are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth, striving for the whole full leg, enduring all inflictions, and seeking out your own salvation, and giving the, uh, the respect and the, uh, the honor, you know, to, to, to our elders, man. Okay? And ultimately, the, the first and foremost, the one that is going to uh, receive all that is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's a given. But to men on the earth, we have to reverence each other. You know, so so uh, uh, peace and salutations to you brothers out there that are uh, doing this to the best of your ability and that backbiting and, and, and uh, biting the hand that feeds you. And, uh, you know, I just want to go into like how this place is based on lies and, and things of that nature and everybody claims that they, they want the truth, but reality, they love the lies, man, okay? And... The scriptures tell us, you know, to hate evil and to, and to love the good. All right, and these people, these in the, the inhabitants of the earth, don't don't seem to have that uh that fact, that part of their mind, the fact, one of the faculties of the mind to, to perceive and to understand, to understand that concept. Okay, um, they really think that we're crazy. We're the ones that have an issue, but really, it's them, man. You know, there's that a strong delusion has been set upon their mind. We know what we follow, we know what we worship, and that's the truth, which is who Yahweh Shai. Okay, um, let me get this one script. This is uh, Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and ro robbery. The prey departeth not. So, throughout all the, the centuries and the different kingdoms, all that's been ever established and set up with lies, man. Every kingdom that has been on the earth has been a, a, a bloody city, you know, conquering each other, destroying one another, you know, unrighteously, you know, and, it, and everything, every kingdom that's ever been set up has been set up with lies, you know, and that's what the, uh, the inhabitants of the earth today, you know, especially here in America, and anybody that has uh, been seduced by her, they love the lies. You know, the holidays, these, these false, these false holidays, these um, you know, Christmas, and that's the new holiday that's coming up. It's Christmas. And Christmas has nothing to do with the scriptures. Satan has just Satan has just found a way to uh, interweave, you know, that 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 tradition and custom into uh, the, the scriptures, man, and base it off Yahweh Shai's birth. But really has nothing to do with the scriptures. That's why this place is considered a, a, a bloody city, man. Why is America considered a bloody city? It's because it killed the Native American Indians, man. The indigenous people of the land, you know, during the, uh, what was the holiday that just recently passed? Thanksgiving. Everybody knows what that represents. That thing, that represents of, of killing the Native American Indians, man. Okay? Going over there back to the Plymouth Rock, when the, uh, the Edomites, which Edomite Esau, is a so-called white man today in America because this land was taken by him from the indigenous people of the earth, man, of this part of the land. That's the one of the, the holidays you, you Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians just got done celebrating, taking part in with your, with your oppressor uh, and, and, and uh, commemoration of the killing of the Indians, man. You know, and it's all spiritual. Look how many uh, thousands, if not millions of turkeys they kill that's a representation of the Indians that they're slaughtering, man. Alright? That's a representation of the Indians that they slaughtered, man, by killing all those turkeys, man. And you people are eating that, taking part in that flesh. Okay? Some brothers say it's cool to eat, but with me, I'm not going to take part in that, man. You know? And that's just my, my uh, uh, decision. That's my my decision of not taking part in it. If, if what I'm gonna, what I do, I go buy my own meat and I, and I grill it up, you know. So that the, that's the, one of the holidays that you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians got done celebrating, man. And the, and the new holiday that's about to come is coming to pass real quick. It's Christmas, which goes back 
to the Roman uh, Empire, man, which was known as Saturnalia. Okay? Which you go into the history, the origins of that Saturnalia, it's a resemblance of what you call today Christmas, man. It has nothing to do with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. Who y'all people eagerly call Jesus Christ. Christmas has nothing to do with that, nor does it have anything to do with his birth. Because Yahweh Shai, he was born in the springtime, not in the winter, the dead of winter. And there's scriptures that prove that, man. So as Yahweh Shai tells us through the prophet Nahum, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Who is the prey? You Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. You know, we don't have nowhere to go. You know, we don't have our own kingdom. You go back to Mexico, guess what? You're gonna get treated worse. You, you, uh, you get treated worse over there by your own people. The cartels, the gangs over there, they'll kill you, decapitate you because you don't pay them taxes. And then the, the government's corrupted as well over there, man. So we have no kingdom where it's established to where we can uh, uh, live, you know, good. You know, but over here, that's what this place was, uh, is, is, um, is, uh, is full of lies and robbery. Okay, now there was an incident, an occurrence, Salakia, going back to um, Second Ezra chapter 7, where the northern kingdom had consulted among themselves to come to a, 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 a land that was far off, known as Azareth. Azareth okay, which uh, Azareth in the Hebrew is a uh, Aratazah uh, Akarath, which means another land. That's how the, the Indians got over here to the land, to the Americas. Whenever the Assyrian captivity, the Assyrian Salamensar took over the northern kingdom, man. They decided to come over here to, to, to uh, America, to the Americas, starting over there in South America, and they migrated themselves up all the way to Canada and Alaska. Okay? That was prophesied in the scriptures, man. But they, just, they, they consulted with amongst themselves and said this. This is 2nd Ezra, uh, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osi, the king, Osea or Hosea, whom Salamansar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them out over to the waters, and so came they into another land. That's what that word, Aratza, Aku... <clears throat> a, ka a karath, a karath, uh, which means in the Hebrew another land, also known as uh, Asareth. Okay, but they took this counsel among themselves. You see that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind, mankind dwelt, that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. You see, which they never kept in their own land. Okay, why? Because what were they keeping then? If they never kept the laws and the commandments in their own land, you know, what were they keeping? Lies, man. Okay, because Jerusalem is likened unto a bloody city as well. They're full of, they kill all the prophets, they, 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 they're, they're deceiving each other, you know, feeding each other lies. Okay, you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, man. That's what y'all, that's what y'all be doing to each other, man. Lying to each other, lying on each other, bearing false witness. You know, bearing true hatred towards your brother, your neighbor, which rebuke. You know, you got these new guys, I don't know who they Adam Abbott, you know, which is nothing but a novice, came up, you know, started retaining all this knowledge, and he thinks he's on some type of level. That dude, Adam Abbott, acts like he's on some type Did of level, man. you know that the Southern Poverty Law Center lists y'all as a hate group? No, I know. You but know, he, but according to the... Why spew that stuff? Hang on, what, spew what stuff? This, this? Whatever it this? is that you're talking about. Hang on. What, hold, hold your hold, hold your hold, horses. You're the Excuse me? hold your horses. Hold your horses. That 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 southern uh, group that 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 claimed Shard us to be this. Hang on. What did they? What did it claim? What did it say? What did it title? Know, what did it title? The black Hebrew saw. Israelites. We're not black. We're Hebrew Israelites by nationality and by the spirit, by the word. I don't know. Okay. So. That, we, 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 already, we, already, we already know about it. I and mean, they're pretty good about it. They, 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 they ain't no they good. Esau's the devil, and you know that. The Edomites. You call and they're going to like. Edomites. The so called white people are Edomites. Prove uh -huh. it to me what, 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 what race uh -huh. you come from, what tribe you come from. Uh -huh. You don't even know. You don't even know. Uh -huh. 
You're a devil. You came to America and stole this land. You know it. You know it. You feel it in your spirit. That's what you are, an Edomite, man. A red devil. A liar. You always have been, you always will be. And you will be put in captivity for a period of a thousand years, man. All right? See, and that's what exactly what I was speaking about. You had this old devil come up. This, this devil came up before doing research, talking about that, uh, what brothers brought up about the, that, that Southern um, uh, Committee where they, um, did a, uh, they classified us as a hate group, okay? Which the scriptures tell you clearly to hate evil, man. What you talking about? But get, we're, we're, not, we're not no black extremists, nor are we black Hebrew Israelites. You had an Edomite just right now talk, was asking me about this right now. Okay? To asking me why am I spewing that nonsense. This is the, according to the Bible. You saying the Bible is nonsense? The Most High is a separatist. The Most High is a racist. Prove it to me that he's not. And don't use John 3.16. Don't use John 3.16 because John 3.16 is, is a, a, a milk scripture and a lot of you people don't understand that verse, man. You know? These damn Edomites, that's exactly... And they don't like that, man. They don't like that, that them being labeled that. And that. But that's what they are. Not every single one, but the majority are Edomites, man. You know? That's why I said, woe unto the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery, the prey departed not. You know? This place is built upon lies, man. Just because a, a, an Edomite or because you find it on the internet doesn't make, mean it's always true. Okay? That were part, we're, we're uh, um, um, considered a hate group along with the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK. Alright? The scriptures say that we're going to be labeled, that we're going to be persecuted for this truth, man. Am I lying? Let's find out. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. Blessed are they which are perse persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are, are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and, say, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You see? So, the most high, who the world eagerly calls Jesus, he's told us when we're going to come out here in the last days, we're going to be made a spectacle unto all these people, man. We're going to be hated. Why? Because we're, we're telling the truth and not spewing no lies, man. This is Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of the mind, that ye may that ye put on the new man, which after Yahweh was created in the righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore put away lying, speak every man the truth with his neighbor, for ye for we are members one of another. You see, so you have to be renewed in the mind to be able to even to speak truth, man, to know what truth is. You have to repent. You have to have a repented, you know, repentive heart. A broken, contrite spirit in order to retain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to accept it, man. These devils out here, these two-thirds, they can't accept the truth. Why? Because the Most High has put them under a strong delusion, man. Not to, not to uh, know the truth. Alright? But um, the Most High, or Yahweh Shai already told us that we were going to be labeled as these black extremists, as these, uh, a hate group, which... It, it, it's not it's not a a wrong thing to look at as, as that way but that's not we're based we're not based off hate we're based off a balance which is love and hate okay because the scriptures tell us what to love and, and, and not to hate all right um let's see I'm gonna see if I can find that southern I'm gonna see if I can find that article. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the, yeah, called the, Su the Southern Poverty Law Center, right? It says that racist black Hebrew Israelites becoming more militant, and that's not true. 
we're not militant, okay? We're spiritual men. We're not coming out here with the um, this this uh um this carnal uh, this car this carnality, man. We're out here just speaking the truth. We're we're warning the people, sounding the trumpet of the coming destruction. From who? Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Am I lying? You know, and that's what these people fail to realize, man. They fail to realize that this is the the word of Yahweh by Shimei was shot, and that he's not lying, man. This is uh Second Ezra chapter uh one. Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto you, or woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Right? So we're just mouthpieces, vessels, speaking the words and the messages of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Almighty Power from heaven, man. Alright? That's all we're doing. We're just messengers. And we're just conveying the message unto the multitude, to the masses, whether you hear or forbear. We don't care. We don't, it don't matter. But somebody is going to ultimately eventually listen and when they do it's either going to go two ways It's either going to make you or it's going to break you breaking you where you're going to speak up and you're going to spew lies Or you're going to it's going to make you and it's going to build you up to speak uh, truth And speak against lies You know, but this is what Ezra is telling us to the spirit Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair but wear your children and be sorry For your destruction is at hand and that's all we're doing. We're telling you that your destruction is at hand. You two thirds, all right? You, you heathens, you Edomites, all right? You Amalekites, all right? You Ishmaelites, whatever. You Moabites, Ammonites. Y'all going into captivity. Y'all will be destroyed. Y'all will not reign supreme in the last days. Now, I got done watching a movie over the weekend called you uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Now, before the movie started, all right, they had a quote from uh, Napoleon saying that Asia, uh, China. Uh, is asleep right now but when she wakes up she's gonna be great okay we already see a uh, china waking up japan all these other asian uh, uh asiatic uh, uh nations are waking up they're getting rich off, off america you uh negro latinos and native american indians you americans here right are getting they're getting rich off of you so but that doesn't mean that they're they're, they're next in ruling okay they're ruling a, a, a for an hour along with the beast right now that everybody's eating Okay, all the other nations are eating with uh, uh, the, that horde, uh, uh, the horde that sitteth upon the scarlet beast. Okay, but that doesn't mean that uh, China is going to rule next, nor is it root Russia. They're going to they're going to rule for an hour, but that within that hour, that's how quick it's going to be taken away from. They're going to be destroyed by way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Lord of Sabaoth, coming from the heavens, man. Okay, it says. Oh. Uh, 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 2nd Edward 16 and 3 A sword is sent upon you And who may turn it back A fire is sent among you And who may quench it Plagues are sent unto you And what is he that may drive them away May any, may any man Drive away a hungry lion in the wood Or may any one quench The fire and stubble When it hath begun to burn May one turn again the arrow That is shot of a strong archer the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? Right, so Yahweh Shai is the one that's sending the, pet, the plagues. Or these different um, uh, instruments of war. These spirits of vengeance upon the earth. Ain't no man doing it. We don't control nothing, man. Alright? Men, the most high pounders the heart of men. He's the one that directed the steps of men. Okay? And he allows these angels, well, on the left or right hand side to do them. To do that guiding. To do that bidding. Us as, us as, us as, as uh, uh, inhabitants of the earth, we have no power, man. We have no control of what we're going to do in the next few minutes or the next day, man. Okay? There's no thing called, there's no such thing called as free will. Or you have control, you're the uh, beholder of your own destiny. That's a lie. It says... It says, a fire shall go, for go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast out lightnings, and, shall, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? This is the point. The Lord, Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai, shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? So it's the Lord that th made, made these threats. Okay? 
he's the one that's getting ready and he's preparing war against you, man. Okay? We're letting you know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord of hosts, which they're already getting ready, they're already making that um the United States Army Space Force up in the heavens because they know a coming uh, 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 invasion is on its way, man. Which is um Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai ultimately. And they're going to try to fight against him, man. Okay? But um, we're not considered, we're, we don't have no part or dealings with any type, type of militant or black extremist. Okay? We're not, first and foremost, you have to understand the words. We're not black, nor are we militant. We're just regular men that Yahweh Shemel told us, woke us up and told us to go speak the truth. Gave us a commandment. Sound the trumpet. We ain't fighting nobody or hurting nobody out here, man. All we're doing is speaking the truth. While y'all moving y'all's action, y'all speak y'all's lies and y'all's homosexuality, y'all's bestiality, y'all's uh, 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 adultery, y'all uh, uh, idolatry. We're just coming out here and speaking it boldly as a lie, man. That's it. The way anybody should for truth, man. You got thousands, millions of people doing uh, 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 seminars and things of that nature and classes, you know, speaking their philosophies and doctrines. Ain't nobody saying nothing to them. But when we come out to the highways and the byways, and because you don't approve of me, you have a problem with that. Okay? So this place is full of lies and robbery, this bloody city, man. Okay? Um, but Khan, that's Yahweh Shai that has made these has made these threats. And guess what? The Mosai said he's a man of war. So who's the true who's the true uh soldier, man? Yahweh Shai is, man. We're soldiers, we're spiritual soldiers, not carnal soldiers. You know? And that's what that um that whole um so, uh, southern poverty thing is all about. Uh, the so Southern Poverty Law Center. I'm gonna go there and read some of it. Alright, it says the intelligence report, the racist black Hebrew Israelites are becoming more militant, right? The black supreme, uh, supremist wing of the Hebrew Israelite movement is spreading and its leaders are growing increasing, increasingly militant. Right? And you got you do got some of these Hebrew Israelites and they're shining that 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 uh that false light upon upon all the groups which we're not, we're not considered any anything with them, man. We ain't moving in the same spirit. We're not of the same spirit. Okay? When Yahweh was on the earth bearing witness, he wasn't of that spirit. Okay, he was out there to speak the truth to his neighbor. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're moving in that same spirit. Okay, but guess what? They treated Yahweh Shai, or some, uh, you got the zealots, the zealots who th thought that he was going to come and, and bring the kingdom back to, to Israel. But he told them that he, they didn't know what spirit they were in, man. So those, 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 um, uh, those other groups that are going out there marching and all this stuff that they, they recently did a big march things going back in uh back uh maybe a few few weeks ago you know they're all, all out there somewhere in, in, in some city down uh, uh marching man you know we have no we're not of the same spirit we're in the spirit of Yahweh Shai and that's to speak the truth to, to build up our brothers and sisters and that's it man and the and the Lord's gonna do the rest he's gonna give us spiritual power we're gonna have the things that Esau truly desires man it says, Baltimore, despite the hellish heat on the spring Saturday morning in gritty West Baltimore, the five Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite priests loitering near the West Franklin Street storefront are draped in heavy robes and their heads are wrapped in, in, in matching white, red and black cl cl cloths, Star of David emblems swing from their necklace and are embroidered into their fabrics. One priest holds a staff, and and, and, and that's right. All the, all those things do represent uh, um, rulership, because that's what we that's what we're gonna ultimately do. We are we're ultimately going to rule, man. You know. But it's not like we're we're uh, building up an army, uh, storing up mass weapons of destruction. Wait, it's not even none of that, man. The mass weapons of destruction that we have is these scriptures, these words, these promises, these covenants, and you devils are threatened by that, man. This word is more dangerous than any type of weapon of war, man. The scriptures tell you wisdom is, is, is stronger than any uh, weapon of war, man. This is the weapons of our mass destruction. We're telling you that mass destruction is coming. 
but you don't want to take heed to that. Instead, y'all want to um, mock and scoff and bicker and and and, and, and um, spew y'all's hate. All right. And, and y'all's hate is coming out of y'all's own vain opinions and heart, man. If you you would know that the scriptures say, "Let every man be a liar, but the word of God true." This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse sixteen, or verse eighteen. Wisdom is better than wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. So this is our our weapon of mass destruction, our sword, man. This right here, okay. All right, we're spiritual soldiers. We're spiritual men, coming out to the highways and the byways, harmless as a dove, but wise as a serpent. That's it. But to lay put that type of label that we're militant. Or consider us part of the black Hebrew Israelites. We're not black. Going back into that word black. Black represents negativity. Okay. Uh, 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 obscured of all. Uh, 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 obscurity of all light man. That's what darkness and black is. Ignorance. Being ignorant of truth. Of lacking, lacking of in any form of intelligence. Okay. We're not no black Hebrew Israelites. We are Hebrew Israelites. That's what Esau has done. Esau. Is the one that color classify everybody on the earth. All right, you either you either Caucasian or, or black, or right, white or black. You don't have brown. It's either white or black. You Asians are considered white, right? You know, you're either white or black. That's all it is, man. And Esau's the one that done that. And it was by a German going back, I believe, in the 1800s that made that uh that system of classing classifying. Uh, uh, everybody based off color, uh, a color code, you know, which is completely wrong, man. So he's the one that's done these things, and, and we have no no part in those things, man. And Yahweh shot he was not no black extremist. If if he was extreme, it's because he was he was um zealous for the truth. <coughs> he spoke the truth. He was no respecter of persons. He went out to the highways and the byways. He presented his body a living sacrifice. And what? Guess what? He died for the truth, man. But he, did, he didn't die because of being taking part of any type of uh, zealous group, you know, or rising up against a uh, 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 Caesar. None of that. He died because all he did was speak the truth and he claimed to be the son of the Most High, which he was. It wasn't no claim. He, he, he was telling them, I am the son of the Most High. I, I, I was sent. Okay, some people knew and some people didn't. Some people understood. Some people didn't understand. So when something that they don't understand, they're, they they're afraid of. And what do they do when they're afraid of something? They kill it, or they get rid of it. They they, they fire you, or they um tell you to get out. They separate themselves from from. Uh, they separate you from their company. You know, they hate you. All because they 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 rather believe in a lie. All because they rather uh, uh you know have that strong delusion upon them, man, and fail to realize they they are under a delusion. They've been bewitched, you know. And they're the true ones that truly hate. And what do they hate? They hate good. We hate evil. What I mean, what what's what's the what's so bad about the word hate or dislike? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, grow up, man. This is uh in the book of I Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah one or five and twenty. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. That's right. So it said destruction unto those that call uh, evil good and good evil. Right? Let's go over here to the book of Amos uh, 5 and 14. Seek good and not evil that you may live. Right? That you may live. And so that so the Yahweh, the God of hosts, shall be with you as you have spoken. Hate the evil 
and love the good <laughs> and establish judgment in the gate and that's what we're doing all we're doing is establishing judgment in the gates this is a form of a gate it don't have to be physical all the time and think that oh well, i don't see no fence i don't see no entrance into a, a city built with gates it's all spirit it's all parabolic man it's spiritual symbolic hate the evil and love the good so it's telling you what to hate and what to love man but since they're on the contrary side they hate good and they love the evil we love the good and we hate evil so what y'all are justified in y'all's hatred but we're not we can't speak about the things that we hate and that, that are truth and are true to be found hate, uh, hateful the doctrine the philosophy the lies that you've, you poured upon uh, uh, upon the face of the earth people are a bunch of hypocrites and people are a bunch of uh, 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 backsliding heifers man y'all don't know what y'all want y'all don't know what y'all love y'all are indecisive unstable double double minded individual people it says and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the Lord Yahweh of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph you see so it's, it's simple to break down and to, and to give that understanding, okay? The whole world lieth in, in wickedness, man. All right? That's, there's, there's no um, denying that. This is... Oh, the, let me go to the book of Galatians. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse... Three, it says, Grace be unto you and peace from the Most High, the Father, and from our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach. It says, Who gave himself for our sins, and that you might deliver us, that he might deliver us from the present evil world. This world is evil. Am I lying or not? What is the word evil synonymous to? The word bad. Okay? That's all it is, man. Who gave himself for our sins that we might, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. According to the will of the Father, of God our, and, and of our Father. You see, that's all we're here to do. Is to receive salvation through the bidding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Do the work. We ain't no militants. We ain't no uh, black extremists, black Hebrew Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites by, by blood and spirit, man. Being woken up in the spirit, the renewing of our mind, uh, uh, transforming uh, the renewing of our mind and the conduct, the former, uh, the, uh, putting off the old man, the former conversation into the new creature, man. You know, that's all it is. But you got these people out here that are um, just completely bugged out. It says, "To whom be glory forever and ever, Amen." I marvel that ye are so soon removed from Him that called you into the grace. Of Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto another gospel. That's right. Because when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, 